Right then guys, uh, an insulation resistance test all in on a three phase installation. You see the main switch is in the off position. Uh, down at the bottom of the, the bolt here, the neutral link, because it's a three pole isolator, the neutral link has been removed to avoid any false readings back through to the supply service head or back to the substation. We've linked out all of the live conductors, so line one, line two, line three, and the neutral, they're all linked out through, uh, back through the crock clips to this bullet crimp at the end, okay? So we'll hang that down out the road so that you can actually see what we're doing. Elsewhere in the installation, two-way switches have been bypassed, uh, equipment vulnerable to testing have been removed, uh, contactor coils, etc., uh, isolators forced into the on position. As we carry out this test, obviously all our circuit breakers are in the on position on the, the load side of the board. Um, we will engage the contactor as we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to set our meter to 500 volts DC. Lock it in the on position. So now testing. So lock it in the on position. I'm going to quickly prove my leads. Okay, so you see my leads have shorted out. I'm going to clamp this green crop clip onto my neutral terminal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run down the line 1, line 2, line 3 connections to prove that all of my leads are actually all connected together. So there's line 1, there's line 2 and there's line 3. So we'll pro prove our crop clips and all of our test leads. So my first test is going to be from the earthen arrangements to my live conductors. One of the things we have to do as we're carrying out this test is activate any switching that we couldn't bypass. So right now I've just pressed the contactor in on our motor control circuit. We've got no reading. Then what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to disconnect my two crock clips on the neutral terminal and I'm going to put these two crock clips together and then I'm going to hang this down out the road, okay, just to keep it out the way for the the rest of the tests. Okay, so that's now hanging down out the road. Make sure it's not coming in contact with anything else. Again, I'm going to quickly prove my other leads to make sure that they're still connected. Now what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to test between my neutral and my line conductors. So I'm onto my neutral bar, testing to my line conductors, and again, holding that contactor in. Okay, so currently now we've got no short circuits between my line conductors and the neutral. I'm then going to test from line one, so I'm going to disconnect the line one crop clip and I'm just going to carefully attach that to the end of the, the L2 crop clip just to keep it out the road. And I'm going to test from line one on the load side of the board, now testing back through to uh, line two and line three, and again holding that contactor in. And then I'm going to repeat that process for line three. Again, just holding that out the road, putting it onto the end of the, the crop clip for line three. And I'm going to put the probe tip into line two and again hold the contactor in. Okay. So we've got no short circuits between M and line conductors. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove all my leads and my links. So I'm now going to go into line three. You see that black clip still connected to line three, and then I'm going to prove my other two crop clips, and that's as we've completed our test. Turning the meter off. Remember, if you have a mineral insulated cable, you might have a capacitive effect on the conductors that are connected during this test, so we might have to use a, a discharge tool to remove uh, that capacitive effect from our cables, okay? 